I think the industry has changed in several different ways. One is that there are so many options out now for learning about GA, GTM, BigQuery, et cetera. Many of them at CXL, and, and I have to say I'm a huge CXL fan. I still subscribe each year. I still watch courses. So I think, it, I think CXL is just a fabulous resource. The other way that the industry has changed is that you have to know so much more, it seems. Simo Ahava, years ago, talked about the myth of the non-technical marketer. I think that myth is even more common today. You can't be a non-technical person in this field and really do well, I think. You have to dive into the technical side. You have to understand what's going on in the developer's council, for example. You have to understand how to get things into debug view in GA4. And you know what? It's not that you have to do this. It's that if you don't like doing this, if you're not really intellectually curious, if, you're, if you don't want to see what's happening behind the scenes, then you know maybe this really isn't the best area for you. Go someplace else, practice something else where you have that passion, because I think that's what's so important. And that's what I love about this field. I'm just, I'm always curious to see how people set things up. I think the biggest issue that people working with GA and GTM face is making sure that the data is good. There are so many challenges right now between privacy, the transition to GA4, lots of different options, whether it's going to be Adobe Analytics or Matomo or PeeWeek Pro or whatever. It almost doesn't matter what the tool is. One is you have to understand the purpose of the website. And two, you have to make sure that you're setting up really good tracking to capture the intent of that website. If you don't have the data properly captured right from the start, everything else is trash. So if one of the really important things is to capture good data right from the start, it really helps to understand the analytics package you're using. You could use almost anything, but whichever one you're using, you have to understand it deeply. We're gonna be diving deep into the GA4 event-based data model, which is great for capturing all the information, all the significant user interactions you want on your website. So you will understand that data model. You will understand how to build your own reports in explorations. You will understand what the reports are in the standard interface and what each of the metrics mean. So you're going to understand the purpose of those metrics, how they're gathered, and how you can use them to best effect. I wanted to teach the GA4 courses for two reasons. One is I love sharing knowledge. I love to find things out and then teach people about them. And two, honestly, very selfishly, the way I really learn things is by teaching them. So before I started this course, I thought I knew GA4 pretty well, and I, and I did, but I discovered so much in the filming of this course as well as I dove down into some of the nuances of GA4 and it's like, why does it do that? Ah, now I get it, now I can explain it. So I hope that knowledge and that passion, I would say, that love for GA4, and yes, I actually do love GA4, I hope that comes through in the course and I hope you capture a little bit of it. I hope it's infectious to a small extent. GA4 is a great tool and what you can do with it to capture the significant user interactions that are important to each website that are often different on each website. What you can do with it is limitless. So have fun with this and reach out to me if you have any questions. And after you're done with these courses, please connect with me on LinkedIn.